just recently turned this shaft out on this Harbor Freight lathe. You can see there's some uh, groove diameters and attempted to thread it. Didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. But today I'm going to show you how I did it. And I'm going to do some turning too on this. I'm going to turn down another diameter. Maybe this one here and clean it up. And uh, this is tapered. As you can see, I'm gonna do some turning on this. Let me set this down here, talk to you about it. Get my digital calipers out. We're gonna get our safety glasses on too. Okay, the way I went about this is I got me some round stock. It's, uh, I believe it's three quarters round stock. Check it with the knife. Yeah, three quarter inch round stock. It's hardened steel. It's A36. And uh, turn this shaft out on it. It doesn't. It was just for fun. It, it didn't have no. Uh, it was for no purpose. But uh, just want to chuck it up in there. Set this down for a second. Okay. And uh, it's kind of in there. I need to put my uh, steady rest on. So. We're going to need a uh, live center on this. So. It came with it. It's got it's bearing in it. And I'm just gonna put it on here. And uh, I have already, let's see. Turned it and see, in the beginning when I turned that shaft, I put, uh, drilled a hole there so I could put my live center in to keep my part from being out of whack if i hadn't put that live center on there it, it would have been tapered you know there would have been issues with the run out on it it might have been warped or bent or just not even all the way down the same measurement all the way down it and so that's why we got to have this live center so i'm going to jam that in there put that shaft up in the jaws Chuck up on it. I'm going to show you how true I had this thing. So we're going to take this thing off, run it up to it, about there, tighten this bolt here. up in there, snug it up a little bit, tighten it down. Now I'm going to get my indicator out and check the uh, run out because nobody needs a warp shaft. I'll set this down here and rig this up. Lock that magnetic base down.
So I got it set on the part, the dial indicator, and we're gonna watch the run out on it. We probably don't want no more than five thousandths. So we're setting at zero. I'm gonna just spin the part. We got one, two, three. We got about three and a half, three and a half thou. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good for this little lathe, for a little Harbor Freight lathe. I'm gonna take that thing off. As we know that right now we're three thousandths of an inch within where I was in the beginning when I first uh, turned this shaft. So that's pretty dead gum accurate. Can't really get no better than that. Especially for a deal like this. So I'm gonna back this up. I about wore this old lathe out. About time to take it back. I got a tool here, I think. I can use this to turn it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I can use it here. Put a little more of an edge on it here. Let's see if I can't get this plugged up. I've got a little bench grinder here I got from Harbor Freight. It's pretty good. Better than doing it by hand, that's for sure. <laughs> Try to hold this and do this at the same time. Put a little small edge on it, nothing serious. All right, I'll go ahead and put my tool in. Right here in this post. Just gonna set it down in there. Try to bring this light down a little bit. I'll go ahead and mount this. Get it good and solid. And it's, this thing's versatile. I mean, if you don't have the right size tool here, if it's, too short or too big or whatever you can flip it over and uh, reshape it put another edge on it one that can turn or uh, face or cut into whatever you're trying to do you can shape that tool whether it be cutting a slot or or whatever uh, you can shape the tool and shim it you know put it you want to try to keep it uh, at least center line or maybe even a hair above but uh, I like to keep everything a little hair above but uh, on on this here, uh, I believe it's about right in the center. I'll take it like Yeah, it's a little above. Yeah, that's the way I like it right there. So there we have it. And uh, we're just going to run this in and out across this and turn down these diameters. Let's see, right now we're looking at about... Six, six hundred, six hundred three thousandths. So I'm gonna get my oil. And whenever I put the uh, hole in there, what I did is I had the drill chuck. And I just put it in my steady rest there, and I uh, ran my drill bit up in there, and so I could get my live center in there. So that way we can hold our run out together 
keep everything one smooth thing across the journals. So here we go, we're gonna light it up. block now. Always make sure you tilt those to slot down. Let's see what we got. There we go. We're just gonna take a couple thousands off. 